It's your boy Shadow of the Android Doctor back again and today I'm going to show you how to root the Xperia Play and install Jellybean 4.1.2 onto the phone. So the only requirements are you need to unlock your phone's bootloader. Um, so if it's not unlocked this won't work. So make sure you've unlocked it. So once you've unlocked it you can go ahead and follow the rest of this video. So the next step would be is to download Flash Tool. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So once you've downloaded it just go ahead and open it up and find the drivers folder okay so in there you'll find the flash tool drivers and the fastboot drivers make sure you install the fastboot drivers the flash tool drivers and you'll also see a list of different Xperia devices find the Xperia player drivers tick the box and um, you should have the whole flash tool thing set up so then you can go ahead and close it down then the next step would be would be to download these four zip files Google Apps, Slim Bean ROM, Lupus's Kernel and the Wi-Fi Fix I'll leave a link to all four of them in the description down below so once you've downloaded them go ahead and open up Flash Tool again and where it says X10 Flasher Lib just open that folder Then drag and drop Lupus's kernel into there. So there it is. Then you can press back. Okay, so the next thing to do is go into settings on your phone. go to applications the box at the top what says unknown sources make sure you tick the box and where it says development where it says USB debugging make sure you tick the box then connect your phone to USB like I've already done Then you're going to drag and drop those three zip files Google Apps, Slim Bean ROM and the Wi-Fi fix you're going to drag and drop them onto your SD card so as you can see I've already done it then you can go ahead and close that down now open up flash tool again Okay, so once you phone, once you've installed the drivers correctly with Flash Tool, you should see all this information come up about your phone. If you don't see all this information, that means you've not installed the drivers properly, so something you've done something wrong. So just make sure you've installed them correctly. Now you can go ahead and select this little padlock here. This will root the phone. If this little box pop, pops up, you can go ahead and close it down. <clears throat> okay, so now it should be rooted, so the phone's just rebooting.
Okay, so now we're just gonna have a look and see if super users on here. Okay, there it is, super user. So the phone is now rooted. So now we're just gonna go ahead and um, flash the kernel. So leave everything connected and just reopen flash tool again. And wait for all the information to come up again. Okay, so now you should get more information because the phone's now rooted. It should say root access allowed. So now we're just going to go ahead and flash the kernel. So select the flash icon here. Select fast boot mode. Then select reboot into fast boot mode via fast boot. If you get an error, just go ahead and hit reboot into fast boot mode via ADB. And it should say please wait devices rebooting into fast boot mode via ADB. And once it's in fast boot mode, this little blue light should be on at the top. So now you can just go ahead and select kernel to flash. <clears throat> and select X10 flasher lib because that's where we put the kernel earlier. Okay, so there's the kernel lupus play jbv 8720image so just go ahead and click on it. Then it should say finished. So you can hit cancel. Close all this down. And unplug the phone. See if I can just focus in a bit. Okay, that's better. Hit the power button and turn it on. Now just keep hitting the volume down button until you're going to recover. Okay, so it's going to bring you into this menu here. Select the one at the top, first internal slot, default slot 1. And now select the second one, TWRP recovery, enter TWRP recovery now. So select that one. Okay, so the next thing to do is select backup and backup your current ROM just in case anything goes wrong. You can also you can always restart the phone at later to fix any problems. But I've already done a backup, so I'm gonna skip. So the next thing would be to wipe factory reset. Press back, wipe cache, 
just focus, wipe cache. Then press back. Then wipe Dalvik and cache. Then press back, then wipe system. Then press back. Then press back again. Then select install. Then scroll down until you see the ROM which is slim 3.1 unofficial then swipe across to install press the home button now we're going to install Google Apps so install where it says Google Apps we're going to find it swipe across to install it Then press the home button again. Now we're going to install the Wi Fi fix. So hit install again. And there it is Zeus's Wi Fi Lupus Jelly Bean signed zip. So we're going to select it. Okay, so now it's done. So now we're just going to select Reboot System now. And then wait for it to boot up.
Okay, so it's finished booting up, so I'm just going to set the phone up real quick. Okay, so as you can all see, this is Android version 4.1.2, Jelly Bean. So yeah people, this is just a quick tutorial on how to flash Jelly Bean onto your Xperia Play. Um, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. Um, I have used the ROM and it is stable everything does work the camera wi-fi everything there's no issues so yeah thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe for more peace